Jeff? I'd like to nominate Sally Price and Terry Hall for a customer service award. On September 2nd, the GMC prep football team was scheduled to play Prince Avenue School near Athens. All went well until the two buses for the band and cheerleaders tried to pull up to Cordell, and one of the buses wouldn't go. <laughs> we suddenly had 110 passengers and only 55 seats. <laughs> I called back to engineering, and Jay and everybody got all four mini buses down there, and Major Harbor was available to drive a bus, and Ed Moore was driving the other big bus, and since he didn't have a big bus, he could drive a mini bus. But that still left us needing two drivers. Uh, Terry Hall was going as a band volunteer, and she said, well, she could drive a minibus. And Sally Price had just moved to engineering and was the administrative assist assistant. She wasn't planning to go to the game, but she said she'd get up, get on the bus, and drive. So both of them were given a quick minibus training and familiarization. <laughs> Johnny's had a great attitude and helped us get everyone to and from the football game. Their wonderful can-do attitude and willingness to help made a difference and is a fine example of GMC customer service. <laughs> Larry Martin. Good afternoon. I applied to fill off in 2011. I was working in the prep school. The high school was having a scrimmage with my cell on the dashboard field at 7 30 in the end that evening. My plan was to leave work with the records of the scrimmage. As I finished, I was leaving the back of the work room. I pulled my phone out to check messages. I also had to only pull out a $50 bill. Behind me on the floor. This bill was earmarked for my son's 16th birthday on the 16th of August. I left the building and went to the screen. After the game, my assistant sent the text and told me to know. I left as much as I can get a few. When I reached into my pocket to pay, I discovered that my 50 was missing along with the other one, my 50 was missing. I returned to the Abigail field and retraced every step of every area I had gone through. I spoke with engineering guys that were closing up the field. I prayed about it, and I even returned on Saturday, because I remembered that I was in the announcement box also. After that, I had pretty much given up hope of finding the money. I shared this loss on Sunday with a friend, and I made a comment to them that whoever found me could not be part of the GMC family, because if they were, I'd get my money back. I did not know how prophetic, prophetic my words were. On Monday afternoon, around 1 and I ran into Greg Stanley, who does a wonderful job supporting the luxury of the press school. He asked me, did you need 
something in the building before you left Friday? I have not told anyone about the money. I told him that I lost a $50 bill on Friday. He replied, I got it right here. <laughs> I told him, register, I told my wife that I thought it was yours. You dropped it on the floor just outside the teacher's workroom before you left. I get a little choked up about this right here. Reggie Stan was truly an honest man and displayed the highest fair character. So Reggie, I'm not going to Sam Khan. Periodically, of course, we have an employee of the quarter, and I would like to read this nomination. A semi-monthly payroll to help out our non-exempt employees sounded like such an excellent idea at the time. Our payroll processor, ADP, said we could just enter a code and all will be well. Well, maybe so. However, no one anticipated that our old ADP system would crash and burn. The employees who received a paycheck from GMC this past summer were totally unaware of the hurdles the payroll office had to jump in order to process and deliver our pay timely and efficiently. Anytime you implement a new system, there is a process. 
There is the planning stage where you do just that. You plan when and how to implement. The next step is the testing phase where you have the opportunity to test out your plan. This gives an opportunity to work with the various scenarios, test, change the scenarios, retest, and so on. Then there is the actual implementation where data from the old system is converted, moved to the new system. And of course, anytime you are working with a new system, there is the learning curve applied as it is impossible to test all scenarios, plan for all problems, or just know to apply the GMC rules. ADP indicates this migration from start to finish should take six months. Our payroll office, along with the team from Human Resources, did this in less than one month. No planning phase, no testing phase, just migration to the new platform and make it work. There wasn't a choice. Without the implementation of this new platform, we would not be able to process payroll checks, and for various reasons, everyone expects a paycheck. Now, back to the semi-monthly payroll. Remember when I said you could just enter a code? Well, not. Even to this day, it's pretty much a manual process. Download information, put it in a spreadsheet, make calculations for one half pay, one half deductions, and so forth. We're hoping that soon we will be able to let the process run automatically, but we're not there yet. All of this is just to say thank you, Linda Sovereign. Ah, oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs>